Hello viewers, so today we are here to discuss how to convert the base 64 string uh, to the byte and uh, to convert the to encode to the byte and decode it. So we will see first how to encode the 64 bit of string. So no, normally I will go and create one static uh, method with the return uh, void. So uh, we will see that okay public uh, static void. the method I keep the name as uh, encoder 64 base uh, 64 okay this will accept the string uh, something uh, okay uh, plain uh, text okay so uh, this will uh, uh, okay uh, so uh, first what I need to do I need to convert uh, this to the byte and I need to convert to the encoded base uh, 64 uh, so uh, 64 bit so ho first I need to convert this uh, text to the byte so uh, I will uh, okay I will uh, take this in the where oh okay uh, text in bytes system dot So uh, in the encoding, dot UTF eight dot get the byte result. Okay. So here you pause the plain uh, text. Okay. So now I uh, got my uh, plain text here. Then finally, this I need to convert to the sixty-four bit. That how to do it? I just write uh, this in a uh, console, right line. Convert to base sixty-four string. text in bytes so uh, what I did now is uh, so I just uh, created a method so what I need to do I normally I need to encode uh, my uh, text to uh, uh, some uh, encoded value so like uh, uh, by using the base 64 string I can convert this byte and uh, I will encode it so that is what all about I am doing here so we will go and uh, call this method and there I, I just uh, want to check whether it is uh, got encoded or not so I will pause some text what I am pausing is go free alonsum ok so let me go and uh, run it so this is my encoded value I got for this text okay so encoded result I got so so I need to decode the same result whether it is executing correctly or not so it's uh, happening correctly or not so what I uh, did is I can uh, go and uh, add it in a byte and uh, I just again convert to the string it return me the result like that so now I need to do the reverse versa so for that what I need to do I uh, need to first uh, uh, take the value of from the uh, base 64 string then I need to convert it to the uh, string uh, okay that is what the logic behind here so I will write uh, just watch carefully what I'm uh, trying to do here okay static white okay so decode code 
base 64 okay so here I just stop playing my value okay this is a uh, encoder encoder text okay so uh, this I am uh, receiving so what I need to do I just to take this as a where okay. text in encoder encoder string okay so what I need to do I just want to convert to sorry from actually deserve from base 64 string because already I converted uh, uh, to uh, the base 65 now from the base 65 so I need to convert from this first okay then finally what my result uh, will be I need to get the string from this value console dot right line so here what I need to do system dot under the text dot encoding dot utify 8 dot get get the string from this encoded string okay this so finally logic begins is like this so uh, after writing the line I call uh, this method here okay and again I'm pushing this value to here so finally I, I need to get the result called co freelancer we'll check whether it is uh, getting we are getting the result or not yep we are getting the result so uh, I encoded and I decoded again I got the same result go freelancer so this is the way guys uh, to uh, con uh, just uh, encode and decode the 64-bit uh, uh, string and uh, uh, make it uh, works uh, so commonly if you want to encode you can use the encode mechan mechanism like that and finally if you do the decode you will get this so it's very simple for authentication purpose at all you can use it so this is very helpful uh, that it will generate you the encoded result that encoded value you can go and decode so I will explain you quickly what I did here I just pause on plain string that what I did is I just converted that into the byte and I am telling to convert uh, to the base string so then uh, then again uh, um, I just created the decode mechanism so from the base string what I converted uh, from the base string I just take that value so then I whatever the value that I have I am again uh, telling to get as a string so finally I got the result as a string so that is what all about I here done so it's very simple you ca guys can try this uh, and you can apply with this mechanism wherever your application needed it's very helpful for authentication purpose you want to send some tokens to the your clients so it's very helpful you can encode and you can decode from their application even if you do the simple encode process client easily get to know that and they can we you can tell that yeah I done in a base 64 bit encode mechanism you can go on to do that base uh, str uh, string and you can get the result back thanks for watching the video guys we hopes I understand that uh, you you got uh, the clear solution for this still you are facing uh, please comment us